Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about full adder. In the last video, I have explained you about a half adder, how to draw the half adder circuit, how to simplify the expressions for sum and carry in the half adder using KMF. Also, we have seen the same method, the same procedure we are going to apply for the full adder. What do you mean by full adder? What is the difference between a half adder and full adder? Half adder is used to add only two bits of information whereas full adder is used to add three bits of information so it is used to add three bits of information it is used to add three bits of information okay so first we will see the truth table every circuit we are going to start this uh, expression first with truth table okay whatever we are going to assume from that particular logic circuit that we can get it from the truth table later we are going to write the expressions obtain the expressions using k maps and then we are going to draw the circuit this is the procedure first truth table k map and then logic circuit okay so the truth table now here three inputs are there a b c here c is nothing but carry input c is nothing but carry input i will tell what do you mean by carry input and sum and carry output okay first take carry c out carry out and sum okay sum is yes as there are three inputs so triple zero two triple one zero zero one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 okay now all these are inputs and these are the outputs okay see triple zero sum is zero carry is zero triple uh, double zero one zero plus zero 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 plus one one sum is one carry is zero and here also sum one carry zero and zero one one zero plus one 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 plus one is one zero so carry one sum zero here also it is zero and one so wherever you are having two ones carry will be one and sum is zero carry will be one and sum is zero but here three ones one plus one is one zero again one zero plus one 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 and one okay so the sum is having zero double one zero one double zero one carry triple zero one zero triple one this is the truth table for the full adder okay now let us draw the expression let us derive the expressions for the carry out and sum using k maps using k map derive the expressions for sum and carry out okay so first one for sum for sum three variables are there so that's why three variable k map we should consider already we know in the last uh, unit minimization of boolean expressions we have seen how to simplify the three variable k map two variable k map four and so on okay that knowledge we need to use here so a b c in 0 1 and it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 gray code representation now sum for sum 0 double 1 0 
वन डबल जीरो वन जीरो डबल वन जीरो जीरो डबल वन जीरो वन डबल जीरो वन वन डबल जीरो वन ओके सी हियर नो टू वन आर एडजस्ट टू ईच अदर टू मैप सो दैट्स वाई we need to map all four ones individually so this is one this is one this is one and this is one all four are individually grouped together we don't have any prime implicants all these are non prime implicants so the expression for this sum is s is equal to write all these individually for this one it is a bar b bar c in plus a bar b C n bar plus a b bar C n bar plus a b C n. Oh, can you simplify this? Can you simplify and uh, uh, get any expression? Okay, let us try. Take common a bar, a bar. Then it is b bar C n plus b C n bar from the first two. expressions plus take a common then it is b bar c in bar plus b c in okay see here b bar c plus b c bar what is this it is xor operation between b and c in and similarly b bar c in bar b bar c in bar plus b c in what is this it is xnor operation between these two Okay, that's why you can write it as that is equal to a bar into b x r c in because it is x r operation that represents that expression represents x r operation and similarly this expression represents x n r operation so that's why it is plus a into b x n r c in okay still we can reduce it. Since x r is complement of x n r and vice versa, so you can write it as a bar b x r c in plus a b x r c in whole bar. okay that is equal to c a bar b plus a b bar same again it is one more xr between a and this one so a xr b xr c in this is the sum expression that means sum expression sum is obtained in the full adder sum is obtained by taking a three input xr gate By taking a three input XOR gate with A, B, C in as inputs. Okay, let us see the carry expression for carry out, C out. Take again three variable K map, A, B, C in. Zero 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 one 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 zero 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 sorry zero one okay triple zero one zero triple one triple zero one zero triple one okay now we have all these four ones are adjacent but we can map these two as one. Prime implicant and these two as another prime implicant and these two as another prime implicant. So C out is equal to the, ex the expression for this one is B C in plus here it is A and in this we have C in plus here it is A B. Okay, this is the carry expression. So the carry expression is A B plus B C plus A C in simply A B plus B C plus Yes, Ian. A B plus B C plus A C. That is A B plus B C in plus A C in. Okay. Now let us draw the circuit diagram for this 
full header so in full header some expression <laughs> is obtained using three input xor gate carry is obtained using three and gates three and gates and one three input or get and one three input or get okay so logic circuit for full adder logic circuit for full adder <coughs> So as I stated in the last slide, we have an XR gate. A B C in here it is A B B C and A C in okay this is sum S and this is carry out C out okay now this is the expression and, the, and this is the logic circuit for the full adder. So this is the way how to identify, how to obtain the full adder logic circuit from the truth table. So first we have started with the truth table, then kmap and then logic circuit. But here we have a doubt. What do you mean by cn? Why we have taken cn and why we have taken c out? Suppose when you are adding, suppose I am having uh, three numbers here, 0, 0, 1. Okay, for the addition of these three numbers, I am taking one full adder. The result is a sum here and carry will be here. When you are adding these three, okay, when you are adding these three, carry will be the input for the second stage. Otherwise, for your understanding, simply I am taking 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. At the initial stage, I want to add these two, 1, 0 and 1, 1. At the initial stage, to add this, I can use off header. To add this, I can use off header. I can use full header also, but by taking one more, one input as 0. Okay. So, the result is written sum here and carry here. This carry will be the input for the next two bits. Then you are having this carry 1, 1. So, total three bits are there. So, in order to add these three bits, we have to go for the full adder. Okay. So, in full adder, you have one carry from the previous stage. Suppose if you are having one more set here, then again sum will be here. This is first sum, this is second sum and the carry from the next stage, previous stage will be added to this one. So, again we need one more full adder here. Okay, so that's why the carry which is coming from the previous stage will be added for the next succeeding stages. So that's why always in full adder you are having A and B as original inputs and carry input from the previous stages. Okay, then it will give you two outputs, sum and carry out. Okay, thank you.